What's up guys? Uh, it's about, um, the hell was about 11.45 on a Friday night. Just uh, got in from going out watching the Duke Carolina game. Still haven't seen the end of it. It's about a minute left and uh, Carolina's ahead of Duke. I'm uh, My dog ate my, my damn eraser, my big one. So I'm having to erase his board. Get ready to record another episode of Junk Removal Made Simple. I just had a thought and, and this is I won't say it's an original thought, but it's damn close to an original thought. Um, my wife just bought a Jeep. It's an expensive Jeep, brand new Jeep. It's like a, I don't know, 40, I think it was a $45,000 purchase. And uh, we got it for, um, and payment on it'll be 600 bucks a month or something like that. And a lot of people on finance stuff, you know, they suggest that you, Probably shouldn't buy a new vehicle. You know, Dave Ramsey gets on there. You probably shouldn't buy a new vehicle. I like Dave. Don't get me wrong. Dave's pretty good for 90% of America. But if you want to be part of that 10% that, uh, that, that truly, truly excels, I think a lot of times staying broke uh, is a good thing. Now, going and spending money on a Jeep isn't necessarily what I mean because that's a depreciable asset. The minute we bought that brand new Jeep, it's already lost value and will continue to lose value over time. So that's not entirely what I'm talking about, but it's a good example. One, a Jeep like that makes you feel good about yourself. It validates the work you've been doing. Two, anytime you have a new vehicle, um, that's like dressing nice, like I was talking about before. It validates it. And, we, you know, and I bought a 16 F-150 pickup truck. I went from a 1991 Chevy pickup to a 2016 F-150 Lariat edition, leather seats, heated seats, cooled seats, navigation, all the bells and whistles. And, and it validated the, the hard work I'd been put in. And it made me feel proud of myself. But when you're riding around in a 1991 Chevrolet, six, it was even a six cylinder, two wheel drive pickup truck, single cab, like I was in, I drove for years. Um, that, uh, that didn't make you feel really, really good about yourself. And the other thing is, when you get a little scared about that payment, you get a little scared about that extra $600 a month payment, and that wouldn't necessarily scare me on junk doctors, but this is personal funds, you know what I mean? This is, uh, not business write-off, this is personal funds, that scares you a bit and it makes you work harder and, and, and work smarter so you can uh, gain that money back plus some. Uh, if you get content, if you aren't scared, a lot of times uh, uh, you, you, that, that, that's going to cause, uh, cause, you, cause you issues. It, every time you become content it, is, is generally you're about to start having problems. This sounds completely stupid, but stay broke. Um, you know, uh, either put your money towards an investment. Generally, I, I would I recommend going towards an investment, another truck to, to earn more money, or maybe invest in an app, a scheduling app you haven't used before. Invest in JRA to get us to manage, you know, managing your AdWords campaign, or, or invest in JRA website, or invest in real estate, or if you're if you're decent at fixing stocks, invest in stocks. Don't keep that money in your bank account. Every the problem with money in a savings account or a checking account is it tends to disappear and it just goes to crap you don't really need. Um, and, uh, and, you, and you lose, when you have that sense of security, a lot of times you get content. But if you keep that money going out, going into investments, be it your junk removal business or be it something else, then you're going to keep hustling. And, and you're going to be a little, a little scared, a little desperate. And, uh, and that's a good thing. So get ready to record an episode on Junk Removal Made Simple coming right up. It's going to be on, uh, on, on picking a truck, a truck or trailer you know, what kind of combination. So we're getting ready to record that now that I use this little piddly ass eraser to erase this board. So that'll be coming up. That takes, those videos take forever to upload. So uh, we'll upload it tomorrow. We'll talk to you soon.